Quincy. Mm. This one is not hooked up right, I believe. Yeah, something is not hooked up right because if I change the frequency, they should not keep staying the same. So I got to check the hookup uh, or something. Now let's check one other thing. Let me put the frequency at some arbitrary number. Let's say to make it easy, 10,000 hertz. And let's predict what the current should be and what the, fa uh, the phase angle, uh, what the current should be. Well, at least let's check what the current is here. Oh, I see why it wasn't doing good. Uh, there you go. It's always good with experimenting. My resistance was so high, the voltage of the resistor was just dominating. And the voltage of the resistor was pretty much always equal to the voltage of the source. See, now you could see the difference as I change the frequency. So right now, I'm on a frequency of 9,000 hertz. You can see the voltage of the resistor is smaller than the voltage of the source. At the voltage of, uh, what was it, 3,000, they should be the same. 3,000, 3,000, come on, come on. There you go, they're the same. Now if I go below 3,000, they're not the same anymore. Oh, good, <laughs> okay. There's always something wrong and you can figure out what it is usually okay let me now go back to uh, finish up with this go back to a certain set frequency 10k again and tell me what the phase angle should be and what the current in the circuit should be I'm gonna, my resistance is uh, 300 ohms 300, I have it three, so this is as general as you can get it. General frequency, we'll end with this. This is pretty much the end of the semester, okay? Um, so the resistor is 300 ohms. Inductor is 9.5 millihenries. We already checked the the resonance frequency is working. Um, the capacitance is 0.22 microfarads. Tell me what the root mean square current needs to be and what is the phase angle. And then we'll, that will end. So phase angle is going to be 10 inverse of XL minus XC over R. All right? So uh, 2 pi Oh, the frequency is uh, 10K, 10,000 hertz. So uh, 2 pi times 10,000 times uh, L, right? 0.9, what was the inductance? I forgot, 0.95, right? Or no, 9.5 millihenries. 9.5 times 10 to the minus 3. Minus 1 over 2 pi times 10,000 times 0.22 times 10 to the minus 6. No, sorry, 0 0.2 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by resistance of 300. So let's see which one is beating out now, the XL or the XC. So this is pretty much like a general problem, type of problem that you could see in the homework or on the test. Gives you the resistance, it gives you the frequency, it asks you to find the current, 
find the resonance frequency. And while you do that, let me do the experimental. Okay, so the difference between them is about 0.3 divisions divided by 1, 2. So about 2 divisions. 0.3 divided by 2. So experimentally, 0.3 divided by 2 times 2 pi. That's the experimental answer. So that's the 2 and the 2 cancel, 3.14 times that. So it's about 0.9 something something reds experimentally. And let me see if it's positive or negative. The voltage of the source is reaching its max before the voltage of the resistor, as you can see in the picture. Voltage of the source is reaching first. You see, voltage of the source reaches its max at the origin Voltage of the resistor reaches its max a little to the right of the origin. So its uh, phase angle is positive, not negative. So theoretically, what do we get? Wow. You see? Two happy faces here with two mouths. Okay. 